the power scalers got to Sporticus, like from Lazy Town. Now, I went to school for mechanical and biomedical engineering, and looking at the numbers behind this man are ludicrous. And I think we need to dissect his body and analyze it for science to move humanity to the future. Let me break it down, okay? There's one clip that, like, blew my mind. That's when he brought Santa Slay from freefall to a full stop in about half a second, using just his arms, and he was not ripped to shreds. He was not drawn and quartered, like horses tied to his limbs. Let's look at the map. Based on the clip, which I'll show you in a minute, um, we can see that Santa Slay isn't accelerating as it's falling. It's going at a constant speed, which means it's at its terminal velocity, which is the fastest an object will free fall through the atmosphere. So with a little formula from NASA, which is really helpful, we can figure out that terminal velocity just making some quick estimates. Like, we know that Santa plus his sleigh, Santa's probably like 230, 240 pounds, 110 kilograms. His sleigh, I'm going to assume is like 330, a little more than he is. Uh, 150 kilograms. So in total, 260 kilograms. By the way, Sporticus, we're going to estimate he's like 180 pounds, 80 kilograms. Keep all that in mind. Now, the drag coefficient, the little CD over here, CD's nuts, that is going to be, I'm going to assume that Santa Slay is about as aerodynamic as like an airplane wing, like an airfoil, uh, through magic. Obviously, it's geometry would not make it do that, but like Santa's magical and he can do whatever the flip he wants. So it's going to be like 0.045. Now, the cross-sectional area of this sleigh, I'm assuming, is like one square meter, just because it's nice and simple. And then the density of the air, actually, we can figure this one out. Because they film in Iceland and it's December, we know that the air density is, the air temperature is going to be about zero degrees Celsius on average. So we're going to use that. And the density of air at zero degrees Celsius on the surface is like 1.29 kilograms, or yeah, kilograms per meters cubed. Okay, cool. We have all that. Plug it in. What's our terminal velocity? We get that sleigh is going roughly um, 660 miles per hour, like 300 meters per second. That's like 90% of the speed of sound. This thing would almost make a sonic boom as it's falling through the air, which is nuts. But he stops it with his arms. And I said he stops it over like half a second. That's because I looked at the frame data. So it takes about 15 frames from here until that sleigh comes to a full stop right about here. Since that video is running at roughly 30 frames per second, 15 frames to reach a full stop means the acceleration happened over half a second. So he went from 300 meters per second to zero in half a second, or decelerated at about 600 meters per second per second. We're going to use the cornerstone formula of mechanical engineering, F equals MA, force is mass times acceleration, to look at the amount of force on his body by doing this, on his arms, holding them in their sockets. He undergoes... 201,280 newtons of force, which is equivalent to like 20 metric tons, 20.5 thousand kilograms of force on his arms. And they're not ripped out of their sockets. He's not ripped to shreds. Okay, but like, how strong is his flesh? I need to know. Now, I'm going to assume for this that if you sliced his arm in half, the, the area of that slice is going to be about a 200th of a square meter. Now, I'm going to take that giant force, the 200,000 newtons, and divide it by the area of his bicep to tell you how much stress he went through on just his arm holding that sleigh up. Plugging all that in, we get 4 gigapascals, which is 10% stronger than Kevlar could ultimately withstand before breaking. If his entire body, his skin, his muscles, his tendons, his ligaments were as strong as Kevlar, it would not withstand that force. He can at least withstand 10% more, and I did, it didn't seem like he broke a sweat doing that. He can probably handle a lot more. His skin would make amazing bulletproof armor. We could use his bones as rebar for concrete and in skyscrapers. The, the sky's the limit. Keep in mind, that's ignoring the weight of Santa's gifts in his sleigh. If you want that calculation, it gets absurd. That's for another video, though. Don't forget to like, follow, share, all that stuff, and send this to five people who would die if they did what Sporticus does on a daily basis.